My name's Nick. I'm calling from Winnipeg. Nick from Winnipeg. What's on your mind? Doing well. Doing fine. Um, you? Well, I didn't get uh, into any fun arguments over the uh, Christmas with a relative who's in the RCMP, very conservative Daily Wire viewer, and dumb as a post. Okay. But I was thinking of if that came up, um, how to how to approach it, and I've had some, maybe not success, but like, if people are in that situation, I think it's best to just ask questions. Yeah. Because like conservatism Socrates, involves baby. a lot of like heavy contradictions, yeah. and I think that people have the right to like believe whatever they want to believe, but I don't think anybody has the right to not ever have those contradictory opinions like brought to their attention. I, I think you're absolutely, no, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, I think if, you, you know, uh, it's been a while since we've had a libertarian call in, but that's essentially uh, what I do when I'm talking to a libertarian, because at one point those contradictions become incredibly evident, not just to the people who are listening, but to that person and it's just a question of like uh, of tying together these two threads that are actually ostensibly from the same piece of, uh, of uh, you know, two ends of this ostensibly the same piece of thread, but they turn out to be completely um, a contradictory. And um, it also makes it makes people, I think, far because I, I don't believe that you can convert anybody in one conversation. Uh, the most mm -hmm. you can do, and, and when I when I am out in the real world, um, which is different than you know the way I'll react to somebody who calls in on this show. When I'm out in the real world, um, I will basically ask questions uh, until the contradiction shows up, and let them sit with it and let it marinate, uh, because that's like you've 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 basically planted the seed. And that has to grow on its own. They they can either ignore that 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 uh, cr a contradiction, or it becomes like a, I don't know, a, uh, a like a welt that mm -hmm. just keeps growing and growing, like a cancer. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not suggesting you get yeah, people I mean, cancer. Sam wants to give people to cancer. Like... I don't want to give people cancer. I I had a fascinating conversation with um, uh, a, a a guy who I met uh, over the holidays who um, is, uh, does not identify as a conservative and doesn't think of himself as a conservative. I think he, he has always been Republican, lives in a very conservative uh, area, um, grew up in a very conservative context, um, is uh, very religious, and uh, said I, he can't stand Trump, but he, he can't stand Biden. And as we talked, Outside of like he, he he at first it seemed like he was a sort of like a um, um, you know sort of like a a classic old school Republican even though his context would would have him be a far more uh, social conservative uh, in that he you know he did, he, he didn't want uh, Joe Biden to you know uh, uh, raise taxes on him but as I spoke to him I, it became clear. To me that he was to the left of joe biden on just about every issue and even to the point where like as i was at, all i'm doing is asking questions and uh he said like yeah he spent some time in denmark he would love that situation he said he was a fan of uh, bernie sanders and it, it became clear that like he didn't want to pay taxes and live in the society we have now <laughs> that he was you know what he was like but if if he thought that his taxes were going to add to the social services and by the end all i had to say was like dude you're to the left of joe biden and i that's where i just left it i was just like you're to the left of joe biden i mean i understand what you're talking about you're to the left and just let and and, and just uh, my my sense was like let that go and who knows where that's going to grow at that point but um yeah i think that's a very good uh, uh astute uh, realization and i think that's the best way to approach it i really do right on uh could i do one more thing please um in that in that sort of vein and matt might have a bit more uh to, to say on this but i had after last year at christmas we were arguing about stuff for like five hours um 
And I think just watching this show has given me a lot of insurance for that sort of thing. Uh, but I, I just ask him, like, hey, how do you deal with the fact that, like, you have all these beliefs, but you are, you call yourself a Christian, and, like, the message of Jesus is, without a doubt, socialist. And he said that that was, like, probably the best argument that I'd be able to make for socialism for him. So, I don't know, I just, like, maybe, do you guys think that that's, like, a useful way to shoehorn some of that stuff in, or are people so comfortable keeping their religious contradictions with their politics that it won't really have much of an impact? Yeah, I mean, I find it difficult. I found religion a difficult avenue for that because of the abortion stuff, um, just personally. Like, people, you can you can try to, you know, give your own gospel or reading, but they go to church and then, at least my, you know, family and extended family go to church and hear a Catholic priest talk about how the most important thing you do is <laughs> vote against abortion. Um, and that they'll just put okay. that in right, you know, alongside, like, readings of the Bible. So, um, I, I think if you can, if you can speak that vernacular, uh, you should in those arguments, because I do think, yeah, I, th I think religious people are you know, willing to hear if, if you, if somebody like knows two Corinthians, for instance, like people are put at ease by that, but I don't, I, I, I think there, there's, or if, um, or if you know more than them. Exactly. Right. Like if, yeah, like exactly. There's a lot of religious people that actually don't know what's in there. So if you can yes. frame things in a way where like you tell them to seek out information, you frame it already. Yeah. Do your own uh, research. Yeah. You look like an authority on the Bible that puts yourself in a pretty yeah. credible position. I would add that yeah, I don't yeah. I don't think there is personally I find that particularly when you're starting the conversation that rather than sort of say uh, Jesus was socialist you say Jesus believed in X Y and Z mm. and I believe in that too now some might call that socialism I don't you know obviously socialism didn't exist but right. the, you know like like you know you 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 don't the, people are going to turn off if you say Jesus was a socialist. Right. But if you say Jesus was for the most amount of benefit to the most amount of people, um, I think they'll be uh, far more open. But appreciate the call. Right on. Thank you, guys. Jesus should have patented his uh, fish multiplication uh, and wine multiplication techniques. Totally.